This is the new 5C headstock and collet system that we now have for the lathe guys out there, small lathes like the Sherline and the Tag or any other custom application. And this is something a lot of people have been asking for, especially something that has a threaded front end that a jaw chuck adapter plate can be used on. Now, if you like the idea, or you can imagine using collets, 5C collets that hold something as little as 130 seconds to over one inch and in many different shapes, you like the idea of being able to use a jaw chuck with a wider variety of jaw chuck options with precision and repeatability that you just can't get out of other lathes like the Sherline or the Tag, and you like the idea of having some more robust bearings then this really is for you. So now you might be wondering, well, okay, well, you know, doesn't uh, TAG already have a 5C? Now we all know that there's no 5C produced for the Sherline, but what about TAG? The, the TAG does have a 5C headstock, which I do like, but there are some certain limitations to it. And that is that you can't use a jaw chuck with it. It's just not built for it. And the other thing is the bearings are entirely different. So now with your Sherline or your TAG or whatever small lathe that you're using, you can get the 5C, but you can now use 5 and 6 inch jaw chucks. The reason that that is so significant is there's a lot more availability of 5 and 6 inch jaw chucks out there with real, real good precision. You see, for the small little three inch jaw chucks that are out there that you can usually get or smaller, for the Sherline or the Tag, you're really locked into a very really limited amount of precision and you can't get six jaw chucks and things like that. But when you are able to thread on here a back plate that's an adapter for five or six inch jaw chuck, now the world is your oyster kind of thing. You can get Gator, you can get Bison, there's all these other different brands you can get, or you can get some Asian ones that are actually really good with repeatability and accuracy that you're simply not going to otherwise get unless you somehow find some weird Swiss or German brand teeny chuck that you can adapt to a Sherline or a TAG. Very difficult to do, hard to find. This really opens up your abilities as far as having a five or six inch chuck. And not only that, when you have a nice size chuck like that, you can take advantage of the 5C's large through hole. This through hole is a little over 1.3 inches, so you can fit a pretty good chunk of stock through there. Now, in addition to that, some of the nice things in general about this, the 5C collet, is that they come in a very wide array of precisions, and they can go down to, like Hardinch has a 2 ten thousandths uh, runout collet. So that is pretty significant. Now, in addition to that, you can get these in round, you can get them in square, you can get them in hex, you can get them in rectangular. There are all kinds of options when it comes to the shapes that can be held with these collets. There's even serrated versions of it for extra grip if you want. And there's all kinds of like adapters and expanding arbors and different options that you can use in the 5C, which really opens up a whole new world for your lathe that you can do things. Now, just by the way, so you know that this is a two and a quarter inch uh, by uh, eight, uh, eight TPI thread on here. I had to think there for a minute. And that's a pretty standard uh, adapter size. The little differences compared to some of the other adapters. And we'll have adapters that will be coming out very shortly after the headlock, headstock is actually released. And that will thread right on here for you. And that don't require a very long stick out. Okay, so... What are some of the other features to this? Well, as you can see, we have decided to go with some T-slots on the top, and this is good for people who want to mount some other things on there, maybe uh, some kind of indexing piece on there or some other type of uh, rotary mechanism on there that will tell where this is at, right? So other things that are available for this are an adapter, so this can be mounted to a TAG machine, and of course these flanges make this readily available for adapting to really anything and you can tell by this hole right here and these guides that this is actually able to mount directly onto Sherline products. We'll also have a couple different pulley options available uh, for this. We'll have 
what is an L size V groove, which is the same thing that the TAG gang tool lathe takes or the Sure lines take. It's that little V groove belt. We'll have that available as a two step for this, as well as a micro V belt two step that's available for this. And this, of course, will have motor mounting holes on it. These are already compatible with the Glock CNC motors. Now, I would encourage you to invest in a little more powerful motor than what you would get on your typical TAG or Sureline because this is using a few more bearings. Now, now that we're on the bearings, let me reach down here and I'm going to show you this uh, 3D printed version of the spindle. This is the front end of the bearing. We're using a dual bearing setup here. And the reason that we're using dual bearings is because we want to make sure that no matter what somebody's throwing at this as far as a load, whether this is a six inch chuck on there or a six inch chuck plus, you know, some larger material going through here, that it will be able to handle the load. So if you can imagine just how much this is going to open up the capacity of your lathe, because now you've got really a commercial duty setup when it comes to the quality of your headstock. And these robust um, bearings here, and these are 80 millimeter OD, 50 millimeter ID, are available in ABEC 5 and ABEC 7. So now you have some real precision options there too. So this is actually quite a bit different than what the TAG version of a 5C is. And of course, the sure lines, they simply don't offer a 5C version. And so this is a significant improvement. Now this obviously can be mounted on other lathes. I'm sure some guys out there are going to be putting this on some Chinese lathes, mounting it on there. Uh, there are lots of custom things that a lot of our guys typically do. So with that too, I do want to mention that we will offer some riser plates. The riser plates and the chuck back plates, they're going to come just a little bit after the headstocks. Okay, just so that's known ahead of time. Something else I should mention in there real quick is the uh, actuation on that. Will All of these will include a pull tube to pull tight the collet. And there will be a lever actuated 5C system, but that's going to be a little bit later down the road. Uh, we're just getting this out right now. So hopefully that all makes sense for you. We're very excited about this. This is something that people have been asking for for a long, long time. And as you know, when we go about to build something, vast majority of our products go into commercial settings, industrial settings. They're used all the time. So we build everything to be to commercial higher end standards. So what do you do next if you're interested? Well, if you're watching this video and it's not on our website, then go to GlockCNC.com and look up in one of the menu options and you'll see headstocks, select the 5C. That'll take you to the main page to give you all the ins and outs and different pieces of information about this as well as a link to the store where you can purchase this. Now if you're already on our website you will see various buttons on this page that will say you know buy now or buy I don't remember really what word we used on there. So once again this is James Diamond we're very excited to release this this is going to be a great little headstock for guys and I shall talk to you later.